With over 7,000 entrants, Street Fighter VI at EVO 2023 was the largest fighting game tournament in history. Top 3 featured Punk the God, who showcased his mastery of footsies with amazing reaction time, and Men RD, a dominant player known for his fast-paced, unorthodox playstyle. But the EVO champion was Angry Bird from the UAE, with his optimal Ken gameplay and top-class game knowledge. What stood out most to me was his mastery of Drive Rush Jab, a technique so useful and versatile he used it in three different ways to help secure the EVO championship. So so in this video, we'll discuss these uses and why they worked. The first, Drive Rush Jab in Neutral to punish a reactionary button. So this is um, me playing Punk, and the last time I played Punk in tournament, this is what happens when you Drive Rush in Neutral against someone of Punk's caliber, especially on a character like Cami, where you have Crouch Medium Punch, which goes really far and is really easy to check Drive Rush. What I went for here was a Crouch Medium Kick, which is seven frames, it's a lot slower than a jab. But the way you beat someone with superior reactions to you is find a way to use their reactions to your advantage, and that's exactly what Angry Bird did. So this is Winners Finals, Punk versus Angry Bird. So the same exact situation here. Angry Bird goes for a drive rush, but instead of getting counter hit out of his drive rush, he actually counter hits Punk out of his check to the drive rush because Angry Bird used stand jab, which is Ken's fastest normal. The additional speed lets you get the counter hit here. And throughout the set, what happened was eventually Punk just stopped pressing buttons on drive rush, which means you get free pressure afterwards. See how respectful he was there? When you get them to not hit buttons on your drive rush, then you can start drive rushing in and going for a throw or going for slower options that give you more reward on hit and block. It's pretty hard to condition someone like Punk, so obviously Angry Bird went in, he drive rushed and tried to do a slower button, but Punk was still reacting. So of course, what do you do in this kind of situation? Just keep doing drive rush jab. And Angry Bird was able to win winners finals. And just so you don't think I'm like cherry picking examples here, this is grand finals, Angry Bird versus Men RD, literally the final match between between the two especially when it's like a high pressure situation like this it's very easy to kind of like default to your basic habit which is i'm gonna press a button when i see them drive rush right and the drive rush jab it's been unstoppable so far look to the parry and this brings us to the second use case of drive rush jab using after a block normal to shimmy so you basically do drive rush into a jab into a throw or you go for a mix up and in this set, Punk basically just took the throw most of the time, which is probably the optimal thing to do. Yeah, one low forward for sure. A low forward. And you can see even Punk does the same thing, but Angry Bird actually texts there and falls for the bait. Mm, throw bait picks up a clean combo after. You know, my first thought was, why wouldn't I just do drive rush into throw? If I do drive rush into throw, it loses to both an invincible reversal and a delay for attack. I can't bait the invincible reversal because I just simply don't have enough time to block. And it's really hard to bait the throw tech unless I do something really janky like a neutral jump. And even then it's not very reliable because it loses to so many other options. So this is where drive rush into jab comes into play. The first benefit is that it's a true block string. So if they're mashing invincible reversal, it just won't come out. The second benefit is that it pushes you back far enough so that if they are throw attacking or if they are using invincible reversal, you can safely bait both of these options. Another benefit is that if the opponent does drive rush into jab and you're trying to do a delay throw attack, because the jab is so quick, it might actually throw off your timing and make that throw really hard to react to. So overall, it's a very strong strategy and something I'm gonna start implementing in my game plan as well. And I Notice this happened a lot in the top six of Evo. Oh. And the last technique we'll talk about is using drive rush jab to bait a reversal or just bait some general response. So on knockdown situations, drive rush mix up is very strong, especially like after a throw, because if you don't do drive rush here, you don't really get anything. Because they get pushed so far away after a back roll, you have to do drive rush to catch them. If not, they just kind of get out for free. However, there is a counter to this, which is just doing an invincible reversal. I try to drive rush and I press a button and I get hit. I drive rush and I just try to block and I still get hit. So it's kind of guaranteed in this situation, unless you use a move to interrupt your drive rush. And this is where drive rush jab comes into play. And this doesn't work for every character, but characters like Cammy and Ken can do this. And this is exactly what Angry Bird was doing in the top six of Evo. All right, so this is an example of Punk doing it. So again, after doing this combo with Cammy that ends in Dragon Punch, you don't really get the best knockdown situation, but you can do Drive Rush with a jab and be safe. And then if you condition on the block, later on in the set, you can take advantage of their unwillingness to reversal. Got a buffer and input and he was ready that time. So here's an example of Angry Bird using the same exact technique. Punk does an invincible reversal and the risk reward on a strategy like this is so good. Punk takes 30% and Angry Bird went on to win this round. 
But yeah, Driver Shab is a really strong technique, and I haven't quite seen anyone use it like Angry Bird. Uh, it's something I've personally seen like some players use. I use for on occasion, but it's something I need to use more. I think most players need to be using Driver Shab more in a variety of different ways. I do think the more advanced this game gets, the more people will be reacting to certain things like reversal or a poke or drive rush. And I think that's where Drive Rush Jab comes into play. And props to Angry Bird for being just a little bit ahead of the Street Fighter 6 meta. And I think this is a big reason why he won EVO 2023. Again, Angry Bird, amazing player. Congrats for winning EVO. Super well deserved. If you want to see more content like this, please consider like, sharing, and subscribing. And take care, y'all. Peace. Well earned. Well earned. That's a long trip, by the way.